Okay, this is my uh, my way of testing. This roll of tubing had a uh, had some nicks on it from the pallet where it was laying on when he shipped it, and uh, I was a little concerned that they might be deep enough to leak, so I needed a tester anyway before I buried this in the ground. So I made a tester. Um, I just have a valve stem screwed in there <coughs> on a cell fitting. And then I just put a little bit of electrical tape there to help it seal when I clamped it. And this one sealed good. And then I got a water pressure gauge and uh, screwed that into a fitting and screwed that into another L. I do have a small air leak here. I put soap and water on here. You can see that that fitting wasn't really the right fitting to screw in there. So I'll, uh, I'll unscrew that and seal it up with something to get by. And then this will be my, my tester for uh, when I get the slinkies into the, into the ground to make sure that there were no punctures when I put it in there before I completely bury it. Anyway, I went online looking for gauges and I didn't really find anything so I, I made this up. Because I want to test the tubing before the furnace is all hooked up. Because I'm going to be burying it in phases. I'm going to do one roll with the slinky and bury it and then, then start on the second trench. So it's not like I'll have it all hooked up and then I can pressure test it. I will do that when it is all hooked up too. Um, but like I said, this is just for making sure the rolls are all right. This is the only roll that had nicks in it. And like I said, that was because they must have dragged it around on the pallet. Like I said, there's a, there's a small one. I took some pictures. Anyway. Evidently they hold 50 pounds. I, I could pump it up to 80, but um, it says 160 PSI. And I figured if it holds 50 for, well, it's been 10 minutes now. Even with the small leak, it's staying right around 50, just a little slight drop. Um, it's kind of just about where it was. I said I am. I do have a leak right there, so we'll get that fixed before I bury it, so I have an accurate uh, pressure test. Anyway, I just thought I'd show how to make that up in case anybody else needs to do it. <coughs> 